perro. Y'all be seated, be seated, be seated.
get ready to dismiss and baptize. Ooh. Tell somebody there will not be a benediction. Tell them there will not be a conclusion. Only a commencement. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, sir, man. Woo! Thank you. We got a breakthrough at the altar. I said we got a breakthrough at the altar. Hallelujah.
as I told you all this morning, there are three things that coincide that we celebrate on today. In Judaism, the Feast of Pentecost and the Holy Catholic, and not Roman Catholic, but universal church, the birth of the church. And the third thing we celebrate is our Pentecostal heritage. Because we now live in a time where in the birthing of the Pentecostal movement, of the classical Pentecostal movement in the early 1900s, Pentecostalism was the denomination of the unlearned and those who were poor. But now, the churches that were down dirt roads are now on Main Street. Ah, glory be to God. Glory be to God. And now what was taboo, glory be to God, or have been exposed to the masses, a handful of people met with William Seymour on Bonnet Bray Street in Los Angeles, California, and experienced glossolio, the phenomenon, speaking in tongues, until the house got crowded and the neighbors called the fire truck because they said the house was on fire. It poured over to a street called Azusa in Los Angeles, California. And for three years, revival was taking place all day and night. But by the time William Seymour died, he was down to a handful of believers. If only he knew. Tracing their roots back to a house 